Hi, I'm Rebecca Rudstein. I am a science communication fellow and artist on board the Nautilus. I am so excited to be here. It's such a privilege to be on board um, where we are mapping out the ocean floor. I've had a big interest in geology and plate tectonics in particular. And um, I am excited as we are traveling across the East Pacific and mapping, and I'm gonna be making some paintings about it. I have been starting out the paintings by pouring paint. I'm using acrylic paints um, and I'm working with this polymer emulsion um, and I am intentionally not mixing the paint entirely together so that it creates a kind of patterning that you'll see. I'm working with um, reds and oranges and yellows. I'm thinking about um, some of the imagery that I've been seeing on the multi-beam sonar, and also um, thinking about the lava flows that we were just mapping and exploring in the Galapagos Islands. Um, having a lot of fun pouring the paint, What's, what I'm finding happening is that um, there's this sort of fractal effect that happens. It's something I've been really interested in my work for many years, um, this idea that these kind of patternings happen on all different scales in nature. So if you're looking at satellite imagery down at the earth, or if you're looking at cross section of rock and seeing um, how deformed the rocks get um, at collision boundaries, um, or if you're even looking at a cross section of minerals. I'm interested in how um, this kind of uh, patterning happens on accident. It's completely process oriented and it's working with the movement of the ship. So that is, has been really exciting and unexpected for me. I was not um, intending to pour the paint this way, but um, I was having a really hard time controlling um, the paint when I first got on the ship. And so I decided instead of fighting the movements of the ship that I would try to work with them and let accidents happen. As the ship rocks back and forth, more color mixing happens. Um, and I just think that the effect is kind of exciting. One of the things I'm really interested in my work is a juxtaposition between expressive, painterly, and kind of process-oriented painting with something that's much more intentional and uh, purposeful and graphic. And so you can see here in some of the ones that I've been working on, um, you can see the surface here uh, the background is, again, this kind of very fluid, process-oriented um, mixing of paint. And then here is a um, rendering of a multi-beam map. Um, and this is the exciting part about being on board the ship. I am working with um, maps that, that are being imaged as we sail. Um, it's just an incredible opportunity. So I'm going to show you a piece that I worked on last night that is not quite dry yet, but it is setting. And so I'm not able to paint on it yet. Um, there's some relief almost going on. There's some ridges, which is again, kind of um, for me, like it was un unplanned, but it kind of uh, speaks to the topography that we're dealing with here on the ocean floor. After that sort of base layer is dry, I um, then get into another fun part, which is, working with the maps that we are c collecting as we pass over the ocean floor. So we're using multi-beam sonar on the ship, and I am working with the scientists in, in a program called Flight or Mouse where we import the data and actually render it um, and give it dimension. And so I was able to play around with that data. And um, this um, image that I'm working with right here is, is are actually seamounts that we mapped uh, just north of the Fernandina and Isabella Islands in the Galapagos. These are seamounts that we think are new seamounts, um, yet to be named. And uh, this is a painting I was working on before um, that uh, I started playing around with these mappings. And I'm going to show you um, how I do another layer. Just have to wait for the equipment to turn on. And we have to shut the lights off. So I'm taking the grid lines that, uh, of the wireframe mapping that we 
imaged in the Galapagos, and I'm taking those exact lines and bringing them into the painting. So this has been a real challenge, um, working on this kind of line work on a ship that's rocking and rolling. Um, quite a challenge, and what I had to end up doing was increasing the um, grid, the mesh grid, um, of the actual uh, images that I was working with so that I could make it larger, so that I could accommodate for um, the kind of rolling that is going on and the, the vibrations. We have um, the engine is vibrating here in the background. You can almost see the image vibrating. I don't know if you can see that, but. So, um, but what I'll do is when I am back home in Philadelphia, I'm gonna work on a much larger scale. This painting over here is one that's further along that, that I have more or less finished on the ship. Um, I sort of work with the wireframe maps that I'm projecting and then kind of go back in and um, use some, add, add more and use some um, artistic uh, license. Um, I think of it as interpolating all the spaces in between that we're not mapping. So. Um, Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Rebecca Rutstein. Thanks for joining us here in our makeshift wet lab art studio aboard the Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs>